She said, I gotta find you a girlfriend. And I said, no, I'm not ready. And she said, you know that Angie's a very nice girl. <laughs> right. So about a month later, I said, I'm ready, Catherine. And she said, well, I don't know anybody right now, but that Angie's a very nice girl. <laughs> so he said to me, I'd like to ask you to go to lunch. And I said, why? And he said, because you're a girl and I'm a boy, and maybe we could have a conversation <laughs> and a, you know, a meal together. So I said, I have to think about that. I said, I have a lot of things going on. I really have to think about that. And I ran home, called my daughter, and she said, I, we should have had this conversation a few months ago. She said, you're a young lady, and there's nothing wrong with going to lunch. So that's how it started. And uh, we never stopped talking since. Thank she you. used to have to plug her phone in. I had that, my, my phone would run out and I sat on the floor plugging it in so it wouldn't run out while I was talking to him. We'd talk for hours. And uh, then uh, bit by bit we'd had dinner together and lunch together. That's how it started and it's wonderful. My daughter called me and she said, well, where are you? And I said, I'm here with the woman I love. I went, oh, wow. Oh. It was like, you know, spontaneous words, you know? Yeah. And uh, I think it made her nervous a little bit. Uh, I thought, oh my gosh. Well, see, my, my wife was extremely gregarious, and she's very gregarious. So I didn't have to talk for 58 years, <laughs> and now I don't have to talk again. <laughs> and, and I talked a lot for 62 years. Joe and I were together 62 years. I, I would uh, encourage people to yeah. reach out and uh, share who they are with someone special. Yeah. And maybe you don't even know who's special. That's right. It's wonderful to hear that. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Good. Thank you.